Hey guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how I created these two helmets for speed sculpting uh, challenge. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to just hide this one for the moment and first of all we're going to create this one. So going to the top view I started with a box and just uh, set some measurements and then I went to modifier and apply turbo smooth modifier with two iterations going to the front view I just right click on it and collapse all and right click and convert it to edit poly let me turn on wireframe so then I just select the bottom part and delete it and pressing th uh, 3 on the keyboard or going here and border and select the border and selecting purchases W on the keyboard pressing shift and click and drag down to create this uh, shape then I apply the shell modifier with two amount on the outside and again right click collapse and right click editable poly 4 on the keyboard or go to polygon selection click and holding shift and click again and just go to polygon and holding shift and click on extrude then change this to local normal and just push it out a little bit pressing OK and still select it just push it down a little bit and that's pretty much it then I went to swift loop and created another line here and holding control and click on vert no just select these vertices and where are you make planner on z-axis so they are perfectly aligned and now I just selected this edges by clicking on it and holding shift and click on another one and it will uh, select the loop and then I just shift chamfer it and press apply and continue and I selected this one and holding shift and click again and OK. I'm going to the top view. I'm going to change the color so we're going to see what I'm doing. And going out of the vertex or uh, polygon uh, edge selection and click on swift loop and just click on the. So it creates a loop around with the. With the width of the edge that we are going to create next but before we do that we are going to select holding shift and click it and delete it because now when we sh click and uh, shift click and holding control and click it and again shift and click it and again control click shift click and now when we extrude it we are going to extrude it by one press ok going to the front view and select this and what we are doing here is selecting only the only the polygons of the newly extruded uh, shape which we are going to delete and pressing 3 on the keyboard we already have uh, this edge uh, this border selected and holding control we're going to select this border and then control click on vertex and we're going to weld them together by clicking here on settings and push up until they stamp together no, this is pretty much uh, 
about the modeling phase of this uh, of this part of the helmet. So if we apply a turbo smooth modifier now, we can see it creates a really um, not even sharp edges. But we're going to fix this right now. So going pressing two on the keyboard or going here on the edge selection, select these edges and shift and click and control click and shift click control click shift click and we are going to do the same thing until we have all the edges that we want to remain crisp selected so this is going to take some seconds to do all around so I'm just holding control and then shift to, s to create the loop of the selected edges control control shift shift control control shift shift and as you can see it's almost finished so now we're going to under edit edges crease push this up to one and now if we show end result we should see a change we're going to push this to two iteration and isolate in this place so we can see what is going on and as we can see we retained the edges that we pushed to the decrease to one so now what we are going to do I'm going to show you how I created these uh, bolts and how I placed them it's pretty simple if you know some tricks so I just turned off isolate and display and I'm going to apply another edit poly modifier and I'm going to go to edge selection and click on this center uh, edge and holding shift and click it so the loop is uh, selected and now I'm going to deselect these ones and on the other side also and on the bottom because the loop went all round uh, I just want to uh, deselect this one but uh, these ones but retain the upper ones so I'm going to use ignore back facing and holding alt and click and drag to deselect these edges so uh, now I'm going to go to create shape and this is it I'm going to just select edit poly and delete it because I don't need it anymore and as we can see we create this uh, line that is going to be the guide for our bolts so for the bolts I use the box again on the top view I'm going to create a small a small bolt let me just 555 five, five and again apply turbo smooth modifier with one iteration front view right click collapse to and right click and editable poly and four on the keyboard to go to polygon selection select the bottom part delete it three on the keyboard to go to border selection select the borders and cap it and then just I always uh, weld this kind of angons into uh, four-sided polygons or three-sided polygons just a habit and now I'm going to go to add selection and deselect these two holding alt and crease it to one and apply a number two turbo smooth modifiers we can see we created a simple bolt head now I'm going to go to front view and as you can see here whoops the what is this 
pivot is not centered so we're going to affect pivot only and pressing S on the keyboard or go up here to snap tool and right click on it and make sure you have vertex selected and then just on the pressing W to move tool and just snap it to the bottom of this uh, bolt this is very important that the pivot is, cen is centered and uh, on the bottom of the, this uh, bolt so I'm going to resize it because I can see it's a little bit big and now I'm going to go to tools and line and spacing tool or shift I and this window pops up and because we have already have the object selected we're going to just pick path and pick the path that we created make sure the follow is turned on and I select that I don't know yeah 12 will do apply and close it and we can delete this one and we can delete the line and we're going to just push this up a little bit and make sure it's a little bit out of the edge but now we are going to use the pivot affect pivot only and alt a on the keyboard and click on the helmet so it aligns the pivot with the pivot of the helmet make sure you have x y and z position turned on and turn this off and now we're going to go to tools array and we're going to use rotate on the z axis 360 degrees 12 count that said it's a preview and as we can see it created this array of bolts so this is how I created and, and um, planted the bolts they are not perfectly aligned as we can see here but you get the picture so we can push this one back a little bit again and this is it now to create these straps and back side we just use what we already have created and I just select these polygons and and detach it as copy as clone go out of the polygon selection make sure you have only this one selected and I just apply a uh, shell modifier collapse it and convert it to edit both poly alt Q on the keyboard to isolate it and just select these polygons and extrude them going out of the isolation mode and extrude them down bam and just push them out a little bit maybe down a little bit and then just make a swift loop once and just push it out a little bit and again once and push it out a little bit so you get the picture what I am doing here hopefully <laughs> no I just uh, forgot that we should um, we should also rotate these ones by selecting this uh, and group it going to the top view we're going to hold uh, press E on the keyboard and hold shift and click and rotate it 90 degrees you should have uh, you should have snap tool on 
and make instances of that. Because afterwards, if you apply a Turbo Smooth modifier, it will apply to all of them, and if you apply a UV modifier, it will apply to all of them. So the straps I create the same the same technique as here for this part and this one the front is also created the same way just select the polygon detach it as a clone uh, then push it down and maybe I should um, show you how I created this one because sometimes it's pretty it's not tricky but um, it can get it can create some troubles if you don't create it the right way so I created this polygon and I'm not going to apply a shell turbo uh, a shell modifier because I want to create these holes in it and first of all I will just make a add selection holding shift and click and drag down a couple of times just to create the shape I'm looking for and then I'm going to go to ring selection and apply a connect where are you connect and now I'm going to select these three edges, uh, vertices, and I'm going to chamfer them. Holding shift, one is good. And now I'm just going to um, right click and cut. And I'm going to cut. Don't play with me. Cut to the edges so I get a four sided polygons. I'm right clicking after I'm done with the with the cut so I can do the next one, right click and this one so now I'm going to just go to polygon selection select these three polygons and delete and now I have holes and if I apply a shell modifier to it I can get this and after I, I can apply a turbo smooth modifier with two iteration as well and display and we can see we have our holes created If we would apply a shell modifier before we created this uh, holes, it will do a lot of additional steps to create this effect. So make sure you do this my way or do it the hard way. <laughs> so this is, was pretty uh, long tutorial. So I'm going to do another one for the second helmet. So if you like it, uh, please share this video, subscribe to my channel uh, and till next time, bye.